So before the video starts, let me just explain how I got into the Arena of Breakout Infinite's closed beta. One tip is if every big content creator is talking about it or is making content, streaming it, making videos about it, uh, it's already too late. You have to, have to, have to. This is a big mistake I did whenever I got into, try to get into the closed beta of Once Human, is that you have to, you have to sign up before the big names get a hold of it. That's something you're always going to have to do. Always look at Twitter, check what people are talking about. If there's like a new game that you're into that specific genre of game, you want to have your pulse on it. You need to know what's happening before the big content creators get into it. That's honestly the biggest tip I can give, you know, besides the tip of my dick. So this game is one of the best FPS games I've ever played. It, it just runs amazing. Like for a closed beta, so like a new game, uh, this game is extremely well optimized. Like it runs extremely well. Like for comparison, like I, I'm going to call out Once Human. Once Human just runs like fucking shit. It, it just does. The UI, everything, it's it's so easy to like interact with and it's like there's no input latency. It just feels good, like there's no lag. And there's another thing, if you noticed, look at the lighting, just in the menu. And this is in the game as well, in the actual game, it, the lighting is fucking amazing. You can see so much in this game. Uh, you notice here, the shadows, I'll probably zoom in for the edit but the shadows are so clean and sharp like the anti-aliasing there is anti-aliasing in the game but it's so good that like the shadows are not grainy as fuck and this is a big problem i have with like any fps game any fps game if there's like insanely grainy shadows this game does not have that it's it's so good it looks so fucking amazing Another reason I say that is that visually for me, I don't like it. And also when whenever I uh, create content around it, like YouTube videos, it shows up and it makes it, like, it just makes the video look like shit. Because like the shadows are like super grainy and it just like, it, it just it just looks like it's running at a low bit rate. That's what it looks like. And also like the game doesn't have a lot of TEA. Like the anti-aliasing in the game, even though it's there, it's... It's not as noticeable as other games, which is a extremely good, a really good upside to this game. Although there are some areas where the lighting can be fucking ass, like especially indoors, like sometimes it gets like really dark and you can't see anyone. Obviously there's flashlights for it in the game, but like still, I, I usually like having a game where it's like the lighting is just really good. There's not insanely dark shadows. Uh, just for reference, I only played like two hours just because like I really don't like these extraction shooters. I, I'm going to be honest. I really don't like them. So the fact that I played for like two hours is already like that's over my limit. I, I just wouldn't even play these games. I mean, the only game I've played that's like an e extraction shooter, looter shooter uh, was uh, Heartland. And Heartland is in close... I mean, that's still under NDA, I think. Okay, I, I'm not going to talk about that. But, like, going back even further, like, before that, the other game that I played that had to do with looting was Rust Legacy. So, and that was such a long time ago. And, you know, I haven't touched Rust since, so... I haven't been into this genre in a very, very long time, so... And for me, uh, I just don't like the extraction shooters, like, the super hardcore elements. Although this game does have a lot of, you know, QOL and, like, uh, like it's not... It's, it is arcadey, the game is. The game is a bit... It's more arcadey than hardcore, but they're still, like deal breaker hardcore elements in the game like just getting one tap to the face you know with any gun in the game it like and then losing all your gear 
Uh, yeah. I, I don't really have gear fear in this. Like, I, I don't give a shit. I just like running and gunning. So, like, getting ratted, dying to people just randomly and just losing shit. Not knowing what, what the fuck happened, right? Looter shooters are just not for me, so... I'm I'm still glad I got to play the game. Uh, overall, it was like a really cool experience. I think it's like obviously one of the best FPS games out there currently. Whenever I'm playing, there's like no hitching. The game runs buttery smooth. It runs so amazing. And the only t the only issues I have is, you know, ping. Sometimes. The ping can get bad. It can go over like 100 to like 110 ping. The fastest you can get into games is like solo. And I noticed every time I played solo, I would always get into like really low ping lobbies like all the time, which is like super rare for me because, you know, I, I would play COD and I would constantly get like 100 ping lobbies, 84 ping lobbies all the time. And getting like a 45 ping lobby would be like super rare. But for this game, it's like super common. Like you can always get like a really low ping lobby. Unless if you're like matchmaking with other players, obviously that the matchmaking is extremely fast. Like you get into games like so quickly, which is like amazing for like these extraction looter shooters. Because if you've come from Tarkov, it's so bad. Like I've seen... Because I've never personally played Tarkov, but I've seen people, <laughs> I've seen people play Tarkov, and they will sit in a fucking in a lobby for like twenty minutes, like like half the time you're just sitting in a lobby, waiting to get into a game. It's just awful. But this game, it's like it, the matchmaking is so fucking quick. It's so fucking good. Yeah, there's no skill-based matchmaking in any of that bullshit. Because, like, I, I'm also obviously, like, just speculating that there isn't. Because it's probably ping-based. The refugees from Tarkov would certainly love this game. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Even though I've never personally played Tarkov, I know for a fact that this game is outstandingly good. It's, like, one of the best extraction looter shooters like ever like if you i've seen gray zone gameplay and, and that game I, i'm just gonna keep it a buck that game looks like fucking ass but this game is like the polish i'll say that the polish in this game is insanely good it it's just like so above but i've i've never played a, a like early access or like a closed beta of a game actually that's not true i did play uh Division Heartland, that game's closed beta was also like extremely polished. Uh, but like this is a, this is the second one I've ever played that's extremely polished. Like it just runs amazingly well, it plays well. It it's just so good. So if you're coming from Tarkov, you're you're gonna love this game. Absolutely, hands down, you're gonna love this game. Now there is. One potential issue, one roadblock in this game for me, and that is the monetization. Now, if you were to go to the the secure storage for your player, there is a time limit on it, and that is a really that's <laughs> that's a red flag. Because you know what that means. That means that you're going to have to buy it with real money. That's what I've heard the from the mobile version. Is that you actually have to pay for it. For a secure case to get a, an even bigger one. But to me it seems like to get a, a bulletproof case or a secure container. You're going to have to spend fork over real cash. Now I'm okay I mean, the game does have a battle pass already. And they could just, like, add it as, like, a monetization practice. But, like, if it's only... Let me think. If it's only, like, 15 bucks, okay. And it's, like, a live service game, I can see that happening. I, I, I wouldn't be... 
I wouldn't be too annoyed about that. I. Yeah, and they can have skins, cosmetics, and all that shit too, but... I mean, this game is just absolutely fucking hands down. One of the... It's gonna be one of the best games out in the market right now. There, there's, There is no other game that I think competes with this. When this game gets really... I mean, dude, Grey Zone? No matter what anyone talks about, Grey Zone is like dead in the water, I think. Compared to this game. This game has hype, and it's good. That's crazy. Like, this game is good, and it has hype. Every big content creator is playing it. So yeah, this this game will thrive. It's it's poised in a very good location where it's like it's, where it's gonna take all the hype, from Tarkov, because. You know, you know what happened to Tarkov. They just basically uh, committed suicide. And all the players are like fed up and tired of that game. So they played Grey Zone. And the only reason that Grey Zone did so well was because of the Tarkov situation. And this game is going to do well because of that as well. But not only that, the game is fucking good. Because Grey Zone is not good. That, that game is straight ass. Heartland and breakout are they're on the same coin but they're two different sides they're on two different sides of the coin i feel like heartland has its own audience and this has its own audience because like people who play tarkov wouldn't like heartland i don't think so i mean they would have if it released like now but because this exists I'm pretty sure all the Tarkov players are going to go into this game over, like, Heartland. I was hoping Heartland to come out earlier, but, you know, that it is what it is, you know? Because Heartland is definitely more a casual-focused game. Even though this has, you know, it's more casual than Tarkov. Like, there's maps, there's pings. You can see in real time, like, your teammates. You can queue up with teammates, like, instantly. You match make. It's it's so so much more casual, but like in a good way. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next time. Hopefully another Wayfinder video, you know. But yeah, you're not gonna see me play another extraction looter shooter. I mean, <sighs> there is Heartland, and I'm I'm more hyped about Heartland than this game. I'll say that.